Hi everyone. In my talk, I'll be telling you about how we build short leakage resilient and non malleable secret sharing schemes. This is joint work with Nishan Chandran, Bhavna Kanagurti, and Sai Lakshmi Bhavna Ubattu. What are secret sharing schemes? They are these really cool primitives introduced by Shamir and Blakely in 1979. And uh, here, Bob consists of some secret S, which he doesn't want to store entirely at the same location. So instead, he splits it into n parts S1 through Sn, which are called shares. And the property that we seek from such a scheme is firstly of correctness, which tells you that if you have at least T of these shares, that should help Bob recover the secret S. Uh, T particularly is uh, some value less than or equal to N, which we call threshold. And the second property sought is that of privacy, which tells you that if you although have less than T shares, that should not give any information about Bob's secret. So in other words, this is captured by saying that regardless of which secret you pick, S or S prime, two distinct secrets, the, the set of less than T shares of S looks close to the corresponding set of shares for S prime. And uh, particularly in this talk, we'll be in the information theoretic setup, so the closeness is in the sense of statistical distance. About two decades later, the uh, Kosher in 1996 introduced something called leakage attacks. And naturally, the question is, what if in addition to T minus one shares, the adversary gets some arbitrary bounded bits of leakage from the remaining shares as well? Uh, well, turns out such an information could be lethal. And in fact, Guruswami and Wouter show in 2016 that the Shamir secret sharing scheme, which is one of the widely used secret sharing schemes in all the proto protocols, um, that breaks even if you give one bit of leakage from all the remaining shares, besides the full shares. So naturally, that this led to the advent of leakage resilient secret sharing schemes introduced by Zimborski and Petrzak in 2007. Um, under the same setup with a similar correctness guarantee, now we seek something stronger than just a privacy. And what we seek is called leakage resilience. So instead of saying just that T minus one shares look close, I now consider some targeted function family F. And let's say I pick some function from this family. So we'll come to what kind of function families have been considered. But if I pick some function, instead of saying that uh, T minus one shares are close, I want that F applied on all these shares, all N shares, that gives no information about S. So just like how we captured privacy, this is captured by saying that for any two distinct secrets S, S prime, F applied on shares of S looks close enough to the F applied on shares of S prime. Okay, so this is the legal resilience property sort. Um, what is a particular family that gives you an example? Well, this was one of the most studied families since the introduction called local leakage family. And uh, it is one of the weaker leakage families in, uh, introduced. So particularly the function family F that we consider is this local leakage family, which is a non-adaptive and independent leakage class, by which I mean that the adversary would send this function F, which consists of N separate functions F1 through Fn in one shot non-adaptively. And the response that he gets is essentially Fi applied on each of the share Si. So this is basically an independent leakage on every share in and of these n, n leakage responses, t minus 1 are full shares, and the remaining would be some arbitrary function outputting mu bits from the shell. So this would be the family of interest for our talk. Um, however, there have been several other stronger families introduced in literature. But common to all families, or generally to leakage in sharing, is, is this question uh, that stems from the fact that we have known uh, about Shamir secret sharing scheme, which gives optimal share size for regular secret sharing schemes. So naturally the question is, can we get any leakage resilient secret sharing scheme um, that uh, achieves this optimal share size, which with the leakage would be message length plus mu, where mu is the number of bits of leakage that you give per share. And we answer in this work, this question with an affirmative yes. Particularly, our result is that for, we get the first information theoretic leakage resilient secret sharing scheme for the threshold axis structure um, against the local leakage family, which allows mu bits of leakage from uh, from the re remaining shares besides the t minus one full shares, and uh, we manage to get a share size of message length plus mu. To know more about the result, come attend the talk uh, on Monday, August fifteenth, uh, at nine twenty a.m. roughly. Um, at the beautiful UC Santa Barbara campus. Looking forward to see you in person. Thank you.